Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about how do you find radians on a unit circle. And um, <clears throat> that'll become more obvious as we start talking about what the individual points are on the unit circle. So let's get started. Remember that a unit circle has a radius, is a circle that has a radius of exactly one. Okay, so the coordinate here would be one zero. Okay? And again, if we use the same radius of 1 all the way up to here, that means that the coordinate there would be 0, positive 1. Okay? So let's just write that in there. 0, 1. Let's continue on around the unit circle. That means that the coordinate here would be negative 1, 0. Let's put that in there. And finally, go all the way down to here again, radius of 1. The coordinate down here would be 0, negative 1. Now you see why I'll put, you'll see why in a second why I put those in there. Now, if we took that radius, okay, that radius of 1, and let's say we made it like a, a wet noodle. So we took this length right here, and we made it like a little wet noodle piece of spaghetti or something like that. And we were to like wrap it around the outside of this circle. The first radius would get all the way to just about here. Okay, not quite to where this, I marked this line, but just about to right here. So that'd be like one radius or radian. The second one would get us to right about here. So Again, not close to here, but not quite. The third one would get us right to here. So we would have one, two, three radiuses or radians, and it wouldn't get us all the way quite to the half point of this circle. This last little part would be about 0.14 of the radius. Okay, now you'll recognize that number. It's 3.14, which is called pi. We, it's just a number that we give to 3.14. It's a name that we give to the number 3.14. Think of it as being similar to like we call 12 things a dozen, right? So we're going to call 3.14 things pi. So that means that from here all the way to here, half the circle exactly, we could also call it pi in terms of its distance, right? So we're just going to give the coordinate negative 1, 0. We're also going to give it the name pi, all right? That's what it means. It means that basically half the diameter, or the half the circle, just the diameter. Now, if that's pi, let's continue on the bottom half, which is exactly the same size. That means if this is 1 pi, let's continue on back to the beginning. We could call this coordinate 1, 0, 2 pi. So let's give it its name. You could also call it 0, but you know, for our purposes, we're going to call it 2 pi. Now, why did I do that? Because we're trying to find what are called the radians. This would be a radian measurement, by the way. Pi and 2 pi are radian measurements. All right. Now, in a unit circle, we're going to divide up. We're going to find these other coordinates along the way in terms of some special triangles that we studied earlier, the 45, 45, 90 degree triangle and the 30, uh, 60, 90 degree triangle. Both of those are gonna be becoming important in this particular unit circle, all right? Let me show you what we're gonna do with those. Now, if we were to take our half circle and we, and we know that this whole distance here is pi. That means that halfway would be half of pi. So at the coordinate 0, 1, we have half pi, or just pi over 2. So again, we could call 0, 1, the coordinate 0, 1, pi over 2, okay? And if we added another half of a pi, we'd get the whole pi, so that would be that. If we had a third half down here, 
that means that this coordinate would be 3 halves pi, or just 3 pi over 2. And let's add another quarter, or another half. We'd have 4 halves pi, or just 2 pi, because 4 halves reduces to 2. All right? So again, we're, we're starting to give names now to these individual coordinates in terms of what are called radian measurements. Now, we're going, to, we're going to take half, just like we did here, but then we're going to divide it up into fourths. That's our next unit. And that's the 45, 45, 90. Again, see if you can follow why. So let's take this quarter of the circle. We know that this is half a pi, right? If you were to take half of a half of pi, you would get this line right here and you get that coordinate. A half of the half is a quarter. So we'll call this one-fourth pi or pi over four. Okay, so one-fourths, two-fourths, two-fourths is a half. Three-fourths will be right about there. So this would be three pi over four. Four-fourths would be just one whole pi. Five-fourths would be right here. Or five pi over four. Six-fourths would be reduced to three over two pi. And then finally here will be seven over four, or seven pi over four. So again, these coordinates have names in terms of radians. Now, we're going to take, we divide it into half, we got these. We divide it into fourths, we got these. We're going to divide them into sixths. So let's take this half a circle, which we know is 180 degrees, and let's divide them into sixths, okay? Six equal halves. We know that 180 divided by 6 gives us 30 degrees each. So here's the first 30 degrees. This would be at 60 degrees. This would be at 90 degrees. This would be at 120. This would be at 150. And then that would be at 180. So now, Again, we want to say what the degrees are in radius. So if we know that this is one-sixth of the whole pi, we're going to say it's pi over six. Here, we just got another sixth. So that's going to be two over six, or one over three, which then we call it just pi over three, or just a third of a pi. And that's exactly what it would be. Here will be, excuse me, right here, we said that's one sixth, two sixths, three over six is one half, so there's our half pi. Four over six reduces to two pi over three. Five over six, we're gonna add another sixth. Doesn't reduce to anything, so we'll say five pi over six. And then finally, 6 over 6 pi gives us one whole pi, right? And let's keep on adding the rest. This would be um, 6 6, this would be 7 6, 8 6, which reduces to 4 over 3, whoops, 8 6, 9 6, which reduces to that, 10 over 6, which reduces to 5 over 3, and then finally, 11 over 6, which stays the way it is. So, we now have radian names on our unit circle, and that's how we did it. And these will actually produce the 30, 60, 90 triangle, the 45, 45, 90 triangle, 30, 60, 90 triangle again, etc., etc., all the way around. Okay, I hope that was helpful.